Hello! In this video, I'll explain how to configure our MBUS gateways using the Maps Configuration Tool. After launching Maps, you will see a menu on the left side of your screen where you should create a new project. Then you will see a list of templates that are available for different gateways and applications. Be sure you are picking the correct template for your MBUS gateway. Start on the Connection tab from the upper menu. There you can select the connection type that you are using to configure your device. It can be IP or USB. Select the MBUS gateway from the discovery list and all the network information will be shown. Then, click on the Connect button below. Let's move now to the Configuration tab to set up the general settings and protocols of the gateway. On the left menu, in the General Configuration, you can define the general settings of the network. The options will be different depending on the BMS or controller where your gateway will send the data. Remember, we provide gateways for Modbus, Backnet, or KNX. In this example, we are using the Modbus version. On the MBUS configuration, you can add MBUS devices following four different procedures, Let's start with the scan. Click on Scan to set the detection parameters. The scan mode helps you search by primary address, secondary address, or single device type. On the primary address, you are allowed to choose the search range. This is automatic with the secondary address, so we recommend using this method if your meter supports it. If having only one meter connected, choose single device. Set the baud rate. The most common value on MBUS networks is 2400. Click on Advanced to specify a baud rate timeout and to enable a deep scan. You can adjust the time interframe for the deep scan mode. The Advanced configuration allows you to set a specific timeout for each baud rate. In general, default values should work. Click Scan to initiate the detection process. It will take some minutes and is even longer when the deep scan mode is enabled. Once finished, all found devices will be listed on the left and their variables on the right. Don't forget to save the scan results. The second method of adding MBUS devices is manual. Here you will define the number of meters that you have on the bus by clicking the Add button. You will see the new meters on the list. By selecting them, you can set their variables and parameters. The third method is importing from a template. Click Add from Template to import a local file. Then you will see all available variables. You can unselect the ones you don't need and modify the device name if required. Click Apply to save the changes. The last method is Clone. In this one, just select the meter to clone and new ones will be generated with the exact same variables. Define how many you want and click on Apply. If you want to change values, you can go manually to each meter as well. To finish MBUS configuration, make sure you have the meters and the lunch parameters all settled. To delete a meter, click on it and delete. Select the MBUS device node and set a baud rate. As explained before, the most common one is 2400. You can also define if you want continuous polling or a read-on start. Click on the advanced configuration to define the interpolling gap. The default value is 2 seconds but allows a maximum of 65,000 535 seconds. The timeouts can be settled as we did during the scan function. Now, we will go to the Signals tab to check all the available signals. The blue ones are signals related to the MBUS line, the oranges are status and operation signals, and the white ones correspond to the registers of each meter. When adding meters manually, during this step, you must add the signals of its registers manually as well. To add those signals, define the number and click on the plus N icon below. New rows will be added, you can activate and configure the new signals. On the MBUS column, select the device that contains this signal and define its register number. On the Modbus column, you will notice that the addresses can be auto-generated. After the signals mapping, we must send the configuration to the gateway from the Receive Send tab. During this step, and for security reasons, you should define a password for the project. After saving the project, you are ready to send it to the gateway. It will be configured with the data you previously input. As the gateway will reboot, you must reconnect. Click on Connect or the lightning icon on the left bottom of the screen. Now the gateway is configured. Let's move to the Diagnostics tab for troubleshooting. Here you will find a console displaying data about the gateway and its network interfaces. Check the comms and debugs from both protocol viewers so they can show the logs. 
On the right side, you will find a signals viewer displaying the signal values. Here we can write commands and inputs for troubleshooting. Click refresh to run the communication. On the upper left side of the screen, you will find a toolbox. There are buttons to quickly perform a hardware test, a reset, logging, and other information options. I hope with this video, you are able to easily configure your MBUS gateway. If you want to become an expert on maps, subscribe to our YouTube channel or register in the HMS Academy. Thank you.